Hey Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott, who's on MetabolicMasterpiece.com. Holy shit, it's 1.30 and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I've been up since 7 a.m. Here we go, twice in one week where I'm accidentally intermittent fasting. <laughs> Definitely nothing planned. I have just been so wrapped up in my day. I've been uh, editing videos, writing articles, and I kept telling myself, all right, just finish this one thing, then eat breakfast. Just finish with one thing and I'll eat breakfast. The next thing you know, I kept going. But I really haven't felt all that hungry all day, so eh, it's been all right. That's the thing with me. I eat when I'm hungry. I'm not following any set structure of so many meals per day or eating at certain times other than post-workout. I always enjoy getting my post-workout shake, full strength shake, immediately after a workout. That's the only thing that's really kind of planned into my day. I can't work out without food in me though. So um, if I was training already this morning, I definitely would have made that time to eat breakfast beforehand. I've tried uh, working out in a fasted state before and my energy just plummets. I'm not as focused, I just don't feel as good. Which is complete opposite to uh, the experience of many of my colleagues. They train way better in a fasted state. So when it comes to nutrition, I mean, it's really, it's personal preference, what suits your personality, what suits your lifestyle, what suits your goals. It's a combination of all those things. Basically, I just freaking listen to my body. When I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. I'm not gonna overindulge, I'm gonna listen to my body and say, all right, I'm satisfied now. I don't need to pig out and eat more. It's awareness. Um, but bottom line, I mean, I'm, I'm getting hungry now, so it's definitely time to eat. And then I'll get out to walk chief. So yesterday, if you followed our videos, my videos, um, you would have saw a delicious high protein banana pancake that I made. Today, I decided to do something a little bit different. That pancake was uh, approximately 650 calories, so I'm gonna make a reduced calorie pancake today. Still up there in calories. Um, and we'll see what that tallies up to. But I'm gonna show you exactly like measuring right now. So let's go right behind the scenes here. As I've mentioned in the past, I've just been eyeballing my portion sizes lately and that's because I've already put in a lot of the work in the past measuring and tracking my calories. So every meal, every portion size that I have, I have a really, really good idea, a really good guesstimation of how many calories are in those meals. But today, I really wanna show you what it's like to dial in and know exactly how many calories are in uh, each of your meals. So first off, I've got half a cup on here. I'm just going to zero that out. Our first ingredient calls for uh, four egg whites. Four egg whites is half a cup. On uh, here it says a quarter cup is 63 grams, so half a cup would be 126 grams. So we're zeroed out here, and we wanna see 126 grams. What does that look like in this half a cup? We are getting up there, 113. I am almost overflowing here. 116. I'm actually gonna dump this out. So this is 116. So I still need 10 more. I need to add 10 more grams. Actually, it's at one right now, so I better, 10 more was going to equal 11. And of course, let me dump a little out here. Thirteen. <laughs> dump a tiny bit. I'm not wasting this. I'm just pouring it in a in my container. Twelve. <laughs> so this is my measuring cup sucks. Obviously, this half a cup is not really half a cup <laughs> when it comes to measuring the liquid volume of egg whites. I needed to get a little more in there and I mean if I really wanted to be 100% accurate, I'm gonna have to sit here and let that drip right out. I could have just measured my bowl and poured the, the eggs right in. All right, so our next ingredient is blueberries and half a cup of blueberries is going to be 56 grams and that's going to equal about 32 calories. So 52 grams is half a cup. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So there we go, 56 grams of blueberries. Half a cup, I mean, it's close to 
full. It's tough to tell with blueberries. But that's half a cup, so the egg whites was overflowing. The blueberries is just kind of nice and leveled out. I'm just going to pour these into the bowl. All right, next up I want to show you, I'm going to be using a tablespoon of coconut oil. And a tablespoon of coconut oil is 14 grams, so I've already pre-measured this, and it is like just barely over the top. It's kind of running smooth right along the edge. Um, so that's what a tablespoon of coconut oil looks like. Now I'm also going to be using a third cup of oats. So let's see, as you can see here, it is just below the edge. And then the scoop of protein powder, which a lot of protein powders call for uh, a heaping, like a rounded scoop. But on the box, protein powder, this container says that one serving is 36 grams of protein. And that is exactly what 36 grams of protein equals. So I'll be mixing all of this together. And I just wanted to give you an idea of that, I mean, if like the benefits of a food scale because obviously the egg whites were overflowing, the blueberries were kind of level, the oats are a little bit below the line, the scoop is a little bit below the line, the uh, coconut oil is a nice even right across the top of the spoon. So just because you're using cups, measuring cups to measure your calories doesn't mean you're 100% accurate. If you add if this was a, hooping, a heaping scoop of protein powder, you'd be adding a fair amount of calories to that. If you were doing a level scoop of the oats, you'd be adding extra calories. If, um, if you went just below the line for the egg whites, you'd be losing some of the calories from it. So the measuring cups are not always completely accurate. Now, what I'm gonna do is just mix all of this together. So I've got the protein powder in there and the oats. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon in here as well. Mix it all together and then show you it cooking up. All right, so as you can see, this mixture is not as thick as the recipe that I had yesterday with the banana and the eggs. And the main reason is, I mean, there was less liquid volume. Uh, two whole eggs is gonna be a little less liquidy than four egg whites. And so that's gonna make a bit of a difference there. I'm just going to let this uh, get nice and golden brown on the bottom and then flip it. All right, that was a pretty damn good flip there. I kept the whole pancake nice and intact, so nice and golden brown there. I just got it cooking on like kind of a low medium heat here on the stove. I'm just gonna let this side get nice and golden brown and then I will be ready to devour this delicious recipe. All right, so now I am ready to devour this pancake. We are looking at just under 500 calories, but I want you to remember that, as you saw with the, the egg whites, that there's some residue left in the measuring cup. There's some residue left on the tablespoon of uh, coconut oil that I had. There's some residue left in the bowl that I used to mix it. So you're gonna lose some calories within the mix there. It's not an exact science, but at least it's a quality guesstimation. You're going to be well within the ballpark of your caloric content. And as you get good at measuring, uh, get some practice measuring and tracking your meals, you'll no longer need to do that. You'll have a great idea, uh, a great ability to eyeball your portion sizes, especially if you're eating a lot of the same foods on a regular basis like I am with the, the eggs, the egg whites, the oats, the Greek yogurts and blueberries and all that kind of fun stuff that I usually have on a daily basis and then uh, getting in a mix of, I, I have variety in my dinners, but uh, we still eat a lot of the dinner, dinners most of the time. And speaking of dinner, we've got ours cooking up in the crock pot right now. So we've got some drumsticks in a sweet and sour sauce. Looking forward to devouring that tonight. All right, I'll catch up with you for some more behind the scenes footage. We're not hitting the gym until later on tonight around uh, 8 p.m. And uh, I'm gonna have a, a friend come and join us for the workout and we may do some posing practice afterwards. So I may, uh, I may get some behind the scenes footage of that as well. Catch up with you soon. All right, dinner, we got some mashed potatoes, some veggies, and some chicken drumsticks, and Chief is waiting for his share.
What do you think, Chief? Is he good? Yep. Smells well, good. Must taste good. How, how many calories do you think, Chief? Mm, a lot. <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> All right. Friday night push workout. Focus on hypertrophy. Getting our pump on. Definitely really excited to see the detail being carved out here. Chest, shoulders, arms, seeing a lot more veinage. Uh, just a lot more detail. Loving it. Notice how I am getting a good squeeze. I'm really trying to enhance this mind-muscle connection in the pecs to start it off our push workout. Um, so I really wanted to get my mind in the muscle and prepare myself for the other compound movements. Squeeze. And then I looked to the side and there was Amy following the same workout as us. And you may have seen her in the previous videos doing the workouts with me. So we asked her to join us, uh, Rick and I. And we also had Adam with us who uh, joined us for this session and we did some posing practice afterwards. Adam is a fellow lightweight and he is planning on competing for the first time with the UFE um, this year. So really uh, nice it was nice great work. great experience training with him today we had a lot of fun We're starting to carve out some nice detail and uh, I'm excited to see him hit the stage he's got a great haircut too I really like it. <laughs> and here so after the chest workout chest exercises we hit the shoulders again really happy with the details I'm seeing here notice how I've got the pinkies leading the way that's I'm just gripping on to the ball uh, at the end of the cable instead of having a handle and I'm letting the pinkies lead the way so really trying to get a little extra emphasis on the lateral delts trying to relax my traps and keep all the emphasis on the delts and then we've got Adam doing some upright rows with the weight plates and there you can see some of those nice details in those shoulders and arms. Alright, so it is just after 11 o'clock getting ready to uh, crash for the evening. I'll be up and 6.30 tomorrow, start my day, and uh, just a freaking killer, killer workout. Really enjoyed today's session. It was really great that uh, Amy and Adam joined us today. It was a lot of fun. It actually worked out really well with uh, the triceps. We're just going one after another. So the flow worked out perfect. We had a great pump on, just felt awesome. Some great posing practice afterwards with uh, Adam. That was a lot of fun. Didn't get any footage there. I'll get some some footage uh, pretty soon, but uh, I was really happy with what I uh, saw in the mirror of myself. I was, uh, I've was i made some really great progress this week. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the week that I had two weeks of no progress and just kind of been mainly because of the weekend, not binging, but caloric surplus for the past couple of weekends there. And uh, now I'm totally right back on track and really tightening up. Uh, just feeling absolutely awesome. Looking pretty damn good. So um, in the next few days, I'll, uh, I'll do another reveal and show you where I'm at. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to wait till next Friday when it can be like a dramatic reveal or uh, just do it in the next couple of days, maybe Monday morning. Um, I don't know. All in all, just feeling freaking, freaking awesome. Just everything is uh, falling into place and just loving the process, loving the journey, having a blast, man. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Hope you enjoy the behind the scenes footage. If you have any questions, if you have anything that you'd like me to discuss or cover in future videos, let me know, man. Uh, I did get some tips from Brett Contreras uh, about deadlifting, so I'll be sharing that in future videos as well. So definitely that's one area that I want to improve upon. All right. Enough. I'm going to go crash. Have yourself a great day. Catch up with you soon.